as I'm belaying and here, especially with our huge weight difference of about 100 pounds almost, I have to have a really good athletic stance down here. So you see that I have my front foot elevated on a nice piece of rock here and my back foot is perpendicular to the wall. Okay, so now I can really support him in case he would slip. So whenever he's not moving, I can get my left hand also onto the brake rope just to have an extra hand locking off the device. Okay, and as soon as he moves, use the pull lock under slide for bling. I went really close to the wall to create a sharp angle between the, my rope here and the wall. Okay, that means if he slips, I would rather be pulled upwards compared to straight into the wall. It's really important, especially with a hundred pound weight difference that Jason and I have. He's almost up there. So talking to your belayer is also very important to keep up a high safety level. It's always nice when you climb up there and you know that you are taken care of. And that also goes with the tension on the rope. You ne don't necessarily want to make it really tight on the climber. You can also go just before tight to not have the climber feel that you pull him or her up. Okay. Are you up there? All right, cool. You want to get lowered? All right, take. All right, ready? Lowering. Okay, so Jason sits in his harness right now and I can feel it, okay? And uh, so to lower him, I really just need to take both hands onto the brake rope and I keep them at the same spot. They're not gonna move up and down. And through opening my hands, I will allow the rope to just slowly go through the device. And eventually his body weight will do all the job. And I just allow the rope to go either faster or slower through the rope, depending on how wide I open my hands. Okay. 